And welcome to Wow Wednesday with me, Jody Misiak. Today, I'm just here to remind you, because if you've been following along all month, you've heard me say it pretty much every video, I think, that this is a journey. Creating a deeper loving relationship with yourself, falling head over heels in love with yourself is a journey. Trying to get there in a day or overnight, it doesn't happen. And you can like you can go from like not liking yourself to you know feeling pretty good about yourself pretty quickly if you allow time and space. However, like I said, I'm pretty sure it was the last video, is I even had that where I like, I'm good where I am. Like I've, you know, practiced self-love for a decade. I'm good. But it's not about stopping. It's like healthy eating. Um, you don't just stop eating because you're at a, a you love your weight. Like you eat healthy. It's about giving your body amazing nutrients. So, um, and now like, you know, you maybe you don't eat healthy 24-7. Maybe you don't always love yourself 24-7. It's about going on a journey. And it's just loving you where you're at and just honoring where you're at. Uh, I mentioned last video that I my son wasn't sleeping. For, like if you've been following at all um, throughout the past few years um, that I've been around, you might have known that my, my son didn't sleep. And like I was trying to keep up with entrepreneurs that – had kids in school or had didn't even have kids at home anymore, didn't have kids at all. And I was trying to keep up and do what they were doing. Yeah, I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> I was getting probably four hours of sleep a night, um, mixed in with a nap here and there. And my son was home and he was nap like I worked during his naps. Like I was at such a different place than somebody else. I had to finally realize that I had to honor myself for where I was. And that's for everywhere in life. So I had to love myself for where I was and who I was at that moment because I wasn't really being me. When you're sleep deprived, that's a whole different conversation we're not going to get into today. But you need to honor where you're at. So wherever you are on your journey right now, maybe you're at the beginning. Maybe you feel like you've been on it forever, a decade too, like me. Or maybe, you know, you've been here, you're on it, you fall off of it, you're on it again. You just can't really seem to get your footing honor that love where you are right now because it really is a journey and the moment you allow yourself to be where you're at and understand that it's a journey not a rush like I said last time, or a competition where you really honor where you're at who you're at then that's really where that you can start to love yourself more and then, you know, you're putting your, your foot forward into your future with so much love for yourself and your life. So it's really just embracing the journey. And I've mentioned this, like, a lot of this is being repeated from other videos. So it's just really just to, to remind you uh, with our last video for Wow Wednesday to kind of just remind you what we have been talking about over the last month. And if you haven't watched the videos, I highly recommend you do. And... It's really just starting where you're at, honoring, sending yourself love. And, and if you haven't gotten your footing yet, it is okay. Pick yourself back up and do it again. You know, we have, I've had, I shared three different tools with you. Um, you know, making a list of things you love, don't love about yourself. And we've got into deeper details and um, finding time for you, opening space so you can actually slow down and get to know yourself more and, um, and daydreaming. And if you had a problem with the daydreaming one, um, another tool that I actually forgot to mention last week, and I really love this one and I do a lot with my clients as well, and it really just helps put some kind of perspective in, um, not even just perspective. It just helps open up the possibility, the possibilities that are endless to you. Is if you could wave a magic wand, like say I waved a magic wand right now and said you could have anything your heart desired, what would your life look like right now? You know, would you be traveling all the time? 
would you be living where you're living? Like, where would you live? Who would you be hanging out with? What would you be doing? How would you be feeling? That's a big one for me lately is it's more about feeling than anything else. Is how would you like to feel? How would you like to be treating others? What would you like to be um, receiving? What would you like to be um, giving to others? What would your life look like if I waved a magic wand right now for you? Remember, the possibilities are endless. And it's such a journey. And I really hope you enjoyed these past four weeks with me and, uh, and really hopefully understand that it is a journey. Because trust me, I have been there where I thought that I had it all figured out. And yes, I've been doing this over, excuse me, for over a decade. And, you know, yes, I've, I've changed so much in, in those 10, over 10 years. Like I think it's 11 now. Uh, possibly more. I'd have to do the math. Um, it really is just honoring where you are. We are all on uh, we are all on this path, all at different like entry points. And it's not about comparing yourself to somebody else's self-love journey or where they are if they're meeting their goals faster than yours, or you know, maybe somebody's doing something or parenting in a way that you know doesn't feel right to you. And this is why honoring your relationship with yourself getting to know yourself is so important because when you create a deeper loving relationship with yourself when you fall head over heels in love with yourself when you know who you are and what makes you 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 can parent from that place of authenticity you can show up in the world as authentic and be you you can go after the jobs or job that makes you like scream and shout at the rooftops like with so much excitement and you go after those things because you know you're worthy you know who you are you know that you're lovable and that people are so lucky to have you in their lives that you go out and show up as you and that is my hope for you that you have started that journey and that you keep on it and honor yourself and remember like I've mentioned it again and again it is a practice it is something that every day you show up and you meet yourself with where you're at so maybe you're having a crappy day love yourself in that crappy day maybe you had a huge win something massively awesome happened in your life honor and love that and celebrate it celebrate the wins Celebrate the learning moments. I call them love lessons. And celebrate and honor all the bumps, the falls, and the triumphs. And just honor yourself where you're at. I honor you. I love you. And I just send you so much love. I look forward to spending the next month with you as well. Next month, because it is December coming up, they will be shorter videos. Um, these ones I've been, they've been 10, pushing just past 10, some of them. I'm hoping to keep the next ones a little shorter. And it's really just leaning more into self-care over the holiday season because we can get, talk about getting crazy and busy in the hamster wheel of life. Now you throw in the holiday season of parties and social gatherings and just gift shopping or just whatever it may be for you at this time of year because we all celebrate something different. So I'm going to be sharing short videos to help you stay focused, centered through the crazy, busy holiday season. And even if you just pencil in five minutes every Wednesday, through the month of December, I oh I don't want to promise, but I feel so deep within my heart that you will come out of December a little bit more calm, a little bit more at peace, and these things will help you really just lean into love this holiday season instead of getting stressed out and overwhelmed by everything. 
So I look forward to seeing you in December. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye for now.